Hi Dr. Surati, my name is Aina Shamimi, currently second year third semester. I'm Koji Oson and I'm from CE Group 1. Hello, I'm Dini from CE 1. I am Amina Joshi from second year third. Without any further ado, let's begin our presentation. What is disproportionation of toluene to benzene and xylene and why this process is important? Toluene is disproportionated to benzene and xylene because toluene is less valuable compared to benzene and xylene. Thus, the process of disproportionation takes place because of the high demand on benzene and xylene aromatic compounds in petrochemical industries. The wide range of uses of benzene and toluene can be seen in the figure below. Now let's talk about the catalyst used in the disproportionation of toluene reaction. The catalyst used in the reaction is ZSM5 catalyst which can be seen in the figure below. Why ZSM5 catalyst is used? The ZSM5 catalyst is used as it has high selectivity towards P xylene which is a valuable isomer which has wide range of uses in industry compared to O xylenes and M xylenes which are xylene isomers. It is said that ZSM5 with medium pore zeolite has high selectiveness of P xylene through shape selective catalysis. The characteristic of ZSM5 catalyst is shown as below. Hello, I'm Dini. My topic of discussion for today is regarding catalyst screening. After done with our research, our group have decided to carry out our reaction by using ZSM5 zeolites as our catalyst. ZSM5 zeolites offer tunable acidity, shape selectivity, and hydrothermal stability, leading to their wide use in catalytic operations. Using ZSM5 zeolite as catalyst, the product distribution can be directed to the selective formation of p -xylene. Another positive side of using this catalyst is due to its properties, which offer a higher selectivity to toluene disproportionation with slower aging by coat deposition due to its peculiar acidic distribution and shape selectivity. For reaction mechanisms, many researchers have concluded that toluene disproportionation of the ZSM5 zeolite catalyst involves primary and secondary reactions. For primary reaction, which is also the main and desired reaction, the equation is as shown here, which is the disproportionation of toluene to benzene and xylene with ZSM5 zeolite catalyst. Moreover, through further research, it is found that this reaction is also the rate limiting step. For secondary reactions, which are the side reactions, there are three different reactions. The first one is this proportionation of xylenes to form trimethyl benzenes and toluene, followed with pairing reactions to form ethyl benzene, benzene, and low alkenes, and lastly the formation of low alkenes by benzene hydrocaking. All these reactions also take place with ZSM5 zeolite as catalyst. The figure shows the basis of reactors used for disproportionation of toluene to benzene and xylene. Based on our findings, we concluded that TDP3 toluene disproportionation version 3 by ExxonMobil is ideal to be chosen as our basis for the reactor. This is because it has high product yield, where the ratio of benzene to xylene is in the ratio of 1 to 1.1. Secondly, it has high product quality, in which benzene quality exceeds 99.9%. Then, it has high toluene conversion compared to other disproportionation toluene process. Not to forget, it has high weight hourly space velocity. Finally, it has long catalyst cycle, in which the cycle length exceeds 3 years with stable product yield. This contributes to low operating cost of disproportionation of toluene reaction. Hi, I'm Jason. Let's move on to the reactor design. For the reaction of toluene disproportionation process, the paper reactor is chosen because this reaction involves the catalyst which is the SM5 zeolite. Our pipette reactor is assumed to operate under the conditions of steady state, perfect missing isothermal and no pressure drops. By finding the reaction rate of this reaction, we can substitute it into the pipette reactor equation and find the weight of the catalyst. Then, we can obtain the volume of reactor from the weight of catalyst divided by bar density of catalyst. Hence, this table is showing our operating condition of our reactor. The advantages of this reactor are the high conversion per unit mass of catalyst and low capital cost. Next. Let's discuss the deactivation of this catalyst. Due to the heavy aromatic cast that have been retained in the pores of the catalyst, the deactivation of catalyst is named as falling. It causes the reversible adsorption on acid sites, irreversible adsorption on sites with partial blocking, partial steric blocking of pores, and extensive steric blocking pores by asteroid deposits. 
Therefore, the regeneration process needs to be carried out to remove the code in the catalyst. The loss in geolite activity can be restored by regeneration done through thermal applying high temperature to remove the code formed inside the catalyst port. As summary, this project covers four different scopes which are catalyst screening, reaction mechanisms, determination of basis for reactor design, and lastly, reactor design. Through catalyst screening, it is found that the most suitable catalyst to be used for tolerant disproportionation to benzene and xylene is ZSM5 zeolite. Through reaction mechanisms, it is discovered that there are both primary and secondary reactions and the primary reaction is the rate limiting step of the entire reaction. Next, DDP3 is determined as the basis of the reactor design as it is highly selective and stable. Lastly, the reactor is designed with packed by reactor as a chosen type of reactor accompanied with manual calculation of different parameters of the reactor and end with the regeneration process of the reactor. Thank you!